Again tonight in Abuja, where the House of Representatives appears not to be backing down on the 48-hour ultimatum handed down to the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs to publish the names and contracts awarded to members of the National Assembly. And two days after the face-off, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Godot Lokmabio, has denied accusing members of the National Assembly of taking 60% of contracts from the Commission. Now, the House of Reps has resolved to institute a legal suit against the minister. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. We have record to show that most of the contracts in NDC are given out to members of National Assembly, but not, you don't know about it. It's but okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. The words of the minister on Monday when he appeared before the House Committee on NDBC, which investigated alleged reckless spending in the commission. Angered by the allegation at its next legislative date, the House handed the minister 48 hours to produce a list of members who benefited from the set contracts. The ultimatum lapsed, and with no response from the minister, the speaker on Thursday directed the clerk to file a defamation suit against the minister to the admiration of his colleagues. To assassinate the character of the House, in an attempt to deflect accountability for their conduct in office. Such mendacity, as was witnessed in the public hearing, will not be tolerated from anybody, no matter how highly placed. The resolution of the House was still fluid when the minister's response Old. came in and was promptly Old. read by the speaker, Old who trashed every aspect of it. Which required payment. In it, the minister denied ever accusing the lawmakers of having a large chunk of the NDDC contracts. But he accused the chairman of the two committees of exhibiting unusual influence to the exclusion of other members and the management of the commission. He alleged that the chairman House Committee on NDDC, Olubu Mitsunji Oju, submitted a list of 19 contractors being owed that must be paid as a precondition for passing the 2020 appropriation bill of the commission. I never referred to members of the 9th National Assembly as beneficiaries of NDDC contracts. As NDDC contracts, or, or as NDDC is yet to fully implement any NDDC budget since the commencement of the national, 9th National Assembly. The House has now referred the Minister's letter to its Committee on Ethics and Privileges. In an exclusive interview with TVC News, the Chairman of the House Committee on NDDC said the Minister's letter has vindicated him and his colleagues. He also denied making any demand as alleged by the Minister and challenged Goswil Akwabi to provide proof in support of his claim. If jobs have been done, completed, of course there's nothing criminal if there are budgetary provisions for NDDC to pay. But the question is, did I at any point in time say that? The answer is a no. And I will say this, and I'm challenging Senator God's will or but Akpabio to please publish and bring any evidence that I said so. Any evidence of correspondence between him and myself. While some members expressed satisfaction with the content of the minister's correspondence to them, Others demand an unreserved apology. It is nice that he has tried to make a clarification. We are not satisfied that he did not apologize. And we will be seeking his resignation if he does not do so. Let her indicate apology. He mentioned it. There, there should be end to litigation, there should be end to, to altercation. Uh, we can as well let bygone be bygone and move on in the interest of the country. We have our report in place. Let the report speak for itself at the end of the day. The HADA committee, which investigated alleged corruption in the NDDC, led its report shortly before the House commenced its annual vacation, but its consideration was stepped down because it has yet to be circulated among members. Plenary activities are slated to resume September 15, while oversight functions continue throughout the holiday. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.